This is a cross-section of the Chenolopina boys' myocardium. Fibrosis, lymphocytic infiltrates. There was no sign of lymphocytosis in the blood tests. Yes, well, we all had plenty of good reasons to think bacterial. Nobody is scolding you. Unfortunately, all those clever reasons were wrong. It is a virus infecting their hearts. Man, we're screwed. We can't chase down a virus. There's a thousand possibilities. We could run gels, antibody tests. A thousand of them? The kids don't have enough blood. Chase, you're the intensivist. How many could we do before we risk exsanguinating the kids? You're talking vials, not stick tests? I wouldn't take more than five or six. OK, so we have to narrow the thousand viruses down to six. Now, the autopsy has shown us what the virus does. So let's go. What do we know? Ribavirin, then a cyclovir. Don't knock it out. Cross out the herpes viruses. Also adenovirus. What else? What else? Keep talking. Well, it only seems to hit children. The mothers aren't sick, so... No toxoplasmosis, no rubella. Cross out the entire torsion syndrome. You didn't find any lung damage? Nope. None of the paramic severity. Cardiac scarring, people. CMV. Enteroviruses, too, I think. Influenza A. A. Yes. And? I'm putting RSV down to yes. That makes eight. I vows the blood is pushing it. Pushing it? But we love that. Get the antibody kit, start testing the sick kids. All right, I'll look into whether there are any antivirals for these eight. Wait a second, the, the, the kids on the floor who didn't get sick, are any of them still in the hospital? They got moved to the fifth floor, but they're probably all checked out by now. No, the Limpert boy had a bit of jaundice he's checking out today. I want to test his blood, too. Why? Because we need all the information we can get. A healthy kid can be our control group. Well, just tell his parents he can't check out because he has the smallpox. Echovirus 11. It's an enterovirus. It lodges in the intestinal tract. Enteroviruses cause diarrhea and flu-like symptoms in adults. Maybe a rash. But for newborns, it can be deadly. It's damaging your heart. What, is there anything you can do? Viruses are more difficult to treat than bacterial infections. We still haven't found a cure for the common cold. So, I mean, there's no vaccine or...? There's a company in Pennsylvania developing an antiviral. It got positive results in a lab setting. And we managed to get our hands on it. Chase, take a look at this. Oh, God. That's good news. No, it's great. Unfinished business? I'm in the haystack. Ah, because now you know you're looking for a needle. Right. If I tell you to let it go, 
It won't make any difference, will it? Enteroviruses are spread by humans. Fecal oral, usually. Could be respiratory secretions, though. So Cuddy got stool samples from the whole staff. Just wait till they come back. That won't do it. Why not? The Shedder, whoever he is, he's so virulent. He must have been symptomatic. Cuddy would have noticed him. Mm. And the babies didn't share any common personnel. That's what's weird. Yeah, yeah. That's what's weird. Can I help you? 